Hello, welcome. In this lecture, we are going to read about inflation. Now, inflation is a very important concept. We will be looking into the two indices, that is the WPI and the CPI, which tell us about the inflation rates. So, let's get started. The first thing that we have to understand is something that is we all have read in the news that the wholesale inflation in India rose to 14.55% in March 2022. Now this is about March. In the month of February, it was 13.11%. The retail inflation rate in India measured by CPI came in at 6.95% in March 2022. Now if you look at this box here, it is telling us about the month of March, but we're dealing with absolutely two different things here. In the first, here, we're discussing the wholesale inflation, okay? And in the second, we're discussing the retail inflation. So for these two, how they are measured, we have two indices. That is called the CPI and the WPI. Before we get into this, it is important that we get familiar with what exactly is inflation. Now, inflation is the rise in the prices of most goods and services of everyday common use. Now, the important thing here is rise in the prices of most goods and services of everyday common use. Some of the examples of such goods and services are food, clothing, housing, recreation, transport, etc. Now, inflation basically measures the average price change in the basket of commodities and services over time. Now the important thing that you need to remember here is that when we are talking about inflation, we are considering goods and services. Goods and services which are basically used by us every day. The examples are given here. Now, Inflation basically measures the average price change in the basket of these things that we use in our everyday life. Now, it is indicative of decrease in the purchasing power of a unit of the country, country's currency. Now, the important word here is decrease. What do I mean by this? Let's understand. You see, when inflation is on a rise, okay, so inflation is going up. This basically means that there is a decrease. There is a decrease in the purchasing power of a unit of the country's currency. <clears throat> this basically means that whatever earlier was coming in 10 rupees, now to buy the same goods, you do not need 10 rupees. You now need, let's say, 20 rupees. All right. So this basically tells us what? that there is a decrease in the purchasing power of a unit of the country's currency. Then, the moderate level of inflation is required in economy to ensure production is promoted. Now, it is this point here tells us that inflation is all not negative. It is, of course, needed. It is required in the economy to ensure production is promoted. So, some level of inflation is required in the economy, but of course, there is a range to it. Now, this range is something which has been given by the RBI. Now, our RBI says that between 2 to 6 is the range of which inflation is going to be, you know, considered that it is fine in our economy. The ideal is 4, but the lower end is 2 and the maximum end is 6. So, the range is 2 to 6, right? Then, in India... Inflation is measured by two indices, that is WPI and CPI. Now, what exactly is this WPI and CPI? What, what do these two things mean? Are they same or are they different? Let's understand that. The first is the wholesale price index. Now, wholesale price index is, read this, it change, the change in the price of goods sold and traded in bulk by wholesale businesses to other businesses. Now you see here, what we're talking about essentially is that it is measuring the change in price of goods. Goods that are sold and traded in bulk by wholesale businesses to other wholesale businesses. 
so people like you and me are not coming in this okay because it's it primarily dealing with wholesale businesses and it's been sold to wholesale businesses then the second point is it is published by the office of economic advisor which comes under the ministry of commerce and industry very important then the base year of all india wpi that is wholesale price index is 2011 and 2012 now i hope you're getting the point that when i say it doesn't concern you and i if you and i go to the market and we buy let's say a good the price that we're going to pay for this good has nothing to do with the wholesale price index but the seller who is actually selling this good to us that seller is buying that good from somebody that seller is buying that good from somebody who is selling it in a bulk right so that is the business that is done by the wholesale businesses it's being sold to a seller and we you and i purchase it from that seller so the important thing that you need to remember pertaining to this is that you and i are not going to be you know uh, active agents in this that is in wholesale price index it's being done with goods and services that are traded in bulk by wholesale businesses to other businesses now this point is specially important why because this is leading to a very important criticism and that is that this index that is wpi in general does not deal with what the public has to go through for instance the major criticism for this index is that the general public does not buy products at wholesale prices you and i when we go to the seller to purchase this good we are not going to buy this good at what at the wholesale price is this clear so this is the criticism then the next thing that you need to understand is that this all these points are pertaining to wholesale price index now the second bit that we have to discuss is the consumer price index now consumer price index unlike the wholesale price index is measuring inflation from the perspective of the retail buyer that is people like you and me it is released by nso that is national statistical office it is of four types cpi that is consumer price index iw is industrial workers industrial workers then cpi al al is agricultural laborer cpi rl is rural laborer and fourth is cpi urban rural combined now out of these four the first three the first three are compiled by the ministry of labor and employment it is done by the ministry of labor and employment and the fourth one which is dealing with cpi urban rural combined this is compiled by nso that is like we discussed here national statistical office which is coming under the ministry of statistics and program implementation the next point that is important and you need to remember is the the consumer price index is important for these reasons that is the mpc what is mpc mpc is the monetary policy committee the monetary policy committee uses the cpi data to control inflation then rbi in the year 2014 adopted cpi as its key measure of inflation so these are the important points pertaining to consumer price index now you see the major difference between consumer price index and wholesale price index is this first point here inflation is being measured from the perspective of retail buyer on the other hand here inflation or change in price of goods sold and traded in bulk by wholesale businesses to other businesses so this is the major point of difference between the two so from this you can simply understand that the two indices are absolutely dealing with different perspectives so what is the difference between cpi and wpi wpi tracks inflation at producer level okay very important wpi is wholesale price index it is tracking inflation at the producers level on the other hand cpi captures change in prices at the consumer level 
You see, at the producer level, it is dealing with what? It is dealing with wholesale prices. But at the consumer level, it is not dealing with wholesale prices. Then CPI does not capture the change in price of services. On the other hand, CPI does. For instance, it's not WPI is not going to deal with the change in price of services. It's only dealing with goods. On the other hand, CPI is dealing with both goods and services. Then in WPI, more weightage is given to manufactured goods. On the other hand, in CPI, more weightage is given to food items. So these are the important points that you need to remember pertaining to the difference between CPI and WPI. Now this becomes especially important because inflation is a very important concept and CPI and WPI are the two important indices that India follows. So this is it from today's lecture. Thank you for watching and please stay tuned.